Hi, I'm going to show you how to copy and make a um, someone else's document your own and using a Bitmoji. So this is, um, of course, this is my course outline, but let's just pretend it's not. So um, when you open it, it will save you only. And you're going to go over here to file. And you're going to go make a copy entire presentation and then you're going to name it whatever you want i'll go ahead and just copy it um, copy of course outline and i'm going to just put a test okay and go and now it will redirect me to the document So now this is my own document and you will want to call this whatever you want. You can change it up here, the title. So let's say you are not a PE teacher and of course you don't work at my school. So you can just click on here, up here, and you can just go and change the name of your school. So I'll just put middle school. If you want to change the color, you go up here to the text color and you can change any of the colors. There's ways to make them your own colors. You can look into that. Um, over here, if you want to make this a different background. So I believe. So you're going to go to choose image. And then you're going to go to Google Image Surf search. Uh, commonly people look up um, transparent. Anything that I add to a Bitmoji, I'm going to put transparent. So um, I believe they call it floor. Yeah. Okay. So if you want like a room or something in particular, you're going, it's floor wall. So you'll just search through and look for whatever you're looking for. And it just depends on what your taste is and what kind of um, background you want. For me, like if I was a classroom teacher, I would put transparent classroom. And I would pick this. So let's just say, for instance, if I wanted to do that, you're going to press insert. Done. And so it just changed my background. So I would just click on each item to remove it. And get rid of these basketballs. I get rid of all this. I'm just highlighting, click out, click back in. And you may not want this anymore. So now, and you got to get rid of the text. So I guess we didn't need to change that. That's if you stay outside. Okay. So now what you'll do is you'll build in here however you want to do it. I'm just doing this random, but you will do this for every page if you like the content that I have. So on page two, I have a map to the course outline. So maybe you'll want to keep this and you can make this um, your own whiteboard. So you would just go into insert image, search the web, excuse me. You would change the background to whatever you want. And I'm going to go transparent whiteboard. And then you can choose the type of whiteboard that you might want in your classroom setting. And you can just replace this with that. So you can do that. Um, I have these linked to the slides and how I do that. So, um, 
if I click on it, it says slide three. So how I do that is I highlight the box, I go to insert, and I go to link. And here it says like slide three. So you can either put in a real link or you can choose from the slides and because I already have it. Um, it's already connected. So I can show you how I do that. I also have a home button so they can click on the home and we'll take you back to slide two. I did the same thing. I did insert and it says slides from this presentation and I did that so I can show you here. So let's pretend that that's my home button so that way you can see it. I'll do link. So you have to highlight whatever you want. Do you see how it says slides in this presentation? I mean, that. And then you can put what number slide. So it's slide two. So I would put a uh, slide two there. And that's right there. So I would hit that and then it will link it. And this is just, and I'll put apply. So now if they hit the, the radio, the ghetto blaster for those of us over 40, um, it will take them to slide two. So this is their home button. It always will take them back to here. If they click here, like if I wanted to look up um, how am I going to be graded, I'm going to just go directly to slide 11 and it will take me how I'm graded. Okay. So hopefully this helps. If you have any questions, you can ask me. I don't know how to ask me. You can look it up on YouTube. I just found this from other people on YouTube. Some people have asked me how I got the movie um, Bitmoji. She is from Snapchat. So what you do is you have to make a Snapchat uh, account. You will use your phone and it will end up being, um, it will move like this and you save it. Then you're going to go to remove video background. And this is just a, um, um, it's unscreen.com. You're going to put your clip in there and then you'll remove the background and that will make it a moving GIF. So um, on pictures, if you need to remove a background, like if you were using a Bitmoji from your phone, you need to remove that background. I'll show you how to. Uh, do Bitmoji too. Uh, you do re remove background. So it's um, remove BG and that will remove a background on a still picture. And this is to unscreen is to remove a background on a moving picture. All right. So let me go back to um, my course outline. Did I lose it? Oh yes. Let me just go back. All right. How do you add your Bitmoji onto here? So let me go back to the classroom I made for you. I hope I'm not jumping around too much. I want this to be quick. Just a quickie, quickie. Okay, so let's go to the classroom. And I want to put my Bitmoji. So you do have to have a Bitmoji account from your phone. And then you get the extension from Google Extensions. Just type in, um, go in Google. Do extensions if you don't know how. That's what this whole line is. They're all extensions. Also learn that on YouTube. So um, you're going to go to your Bitmoji. Now, if you want her sitting or studying, you can also see what's been used recently. I found some that I couldn't find just by searching. If you want to pose, you can type in pose. And then she's just has um, no words with her. You can edit words out. And I'm wondering if I can get one of her sitting somewhere. So let's see. Standing. Yeah, so um, I don't remember. I already have one. So there she is. This one's commonly used in a chair, and then you can set a little laptop on her lap. So what you can do, you can either click on her and you can drag her to a chair or drag her to the um, picture, and you see she's transparent. So she can sit here. You'll want to make her bigger. So 
So I'm just dragging the sides to make her bigger. And I'm going to get her bottom down. Do you like how I referred to her, even though it looks like me, kind of? Okay, so we're good there. Now, if you wanted to add a computer here, again, it's the same thing for every time. You're just going to go to Insert over here. You're going to go Image, Search the Web. You're going to put Transparent. Let's do um, Transparent Laptop. And then you can find the laptop that you want. Let's see, there's one that's used commonly. This one right here, kind of looks like an Apple laptop. And you're gonna put that on her lap. Oh, it doesn't go on her lap yet. You can see it's transparent, so it looks better on the things. Now it's a little bit big, so we gotta make it lower, a little smaller for her. Oh, that looks good. Okay, and you want it to cover her hand. Okay, so now she looks like she's on the computer, sitting there on a desk. And then you could add text back here. Um, the, the easiest way to do that, if you wanted to do that, I know I'm, I'm teaching a lot, but you can just stop and go. Um, it's A lot of people like the rounded rectangle. So what I'll do is I'll just highlight this if I wanted to use that. And you can change the color on that. You can make that transparent. So let's make it transparent. So it looks like the board still. Now if I wanted to write on there, I have to make a text box. So right here is the text box. So I'll click on that. I'm gonna highlight how much I want to write on there. And then I will type in, let's see if it works. I don't know. Oh, I see it, it's like super small. I believe and the color isn't right so let me see if it worked oh there it is see how small it is you're going to go to these three dots right here and you're going to change the color so I'm going to change it to white I'm going to make it bold I'm going to use my favorite um, let's do permanent marker because it looks like and then we're just going to make it bigger so of course you can highlight and just put in a number and then um, I like to do centering, so I highlight it, and I center here, and I center here, and now you have writing on the chalkboard that looks like writing, and you can write your name or whatever there. So that's just a quickie tutorial on how to make my slides your slides, because a lot of you aren't PE teachers, but you like some of the content I have. Of course, you can change anything. I um, some the some of the backgrounds I can't take credit for this. I I can't take credit for. I didn't. Um, that was from uh, another site. I did. You can make these clickable. So if you have standards, you could always put your own state standards in there and um, make it. And again, this is all transparent stuff, and somebody went through a lot of time to put all this stuff in here. Um, and this is my school's fitness center, so I just used a picture, and I have taken pictures since, and, and I will add them to my Bitmojis. This is a picture I had taken of my students in the gym. So if you have classroom pictures, you can add your classroom on the first page if you want or you can add the front of your school. So there's a lot of options. Just you wanna make sure transparent uh, images is what you wanna search. And if you want Bitmoji, you can go up here. One thing I didn't show you about Bitmoji is you can type in, so if I can type in, um, hello, it will, um, bring these things up also too if you just put something random i don't know i don't know let me try random and usually so it will add your text to a picture that it may not have but it will just put it in and if i did this you'll see it just ran so that's just a nice thing that bitmoji has for you okay i think i'm done I think I showed you enough for now that you are able to make this your own. Thank you. Hope this helps.